in Tunisia and we're in the city called Tunis so I'm gonna make my way to the mosque and from the mosque I'm gonna go to one of the souks hello how are you doing are you are you from here from Tunis yes. okay nice to meet you thank you all right thank you very much thanks I will thank you bye bye so friendly guys I'm gonna chat to them just now I just want to find my way to the mosque and uh, I just spoke to them off camera and they said no they'll be around because they are from this area anyway so uh, when I come back I'll chat to them again so in case you haven't noticed we are in the Medina and that's the area out here in Tunis I chose to stay at the Medina because uh, it's central and uh, it's close to all the things that I want to see I'm already loving this vibe you'll see these chairs and tables outside you guys that's the restaurants and uh, little street cafes so I want to make my way to the center which is where the mosque is wow man what a vibe I haven't planned any attractions for today. I'm literally just walking, finding my way, and checking out what's available. You never do it without your face on. Mosque is to the right. Oh, yeah. And right outside the mosque, more of these uh, market items for sale. Not sure if I'm allowed to enter. But if I am, I'm going to have to remove my shoes. to film inside so please understand that there won't be footage from the inside but I do notice a lot of females coming to worship here as well uh, that's not something that I see very often elsewhere Medina Alice 
to the right way. Enter through the gate. Mm -hmm. Welcome to Tunis. Welcome to the Medina. I am completely lost. I have no clue where I am. But I've got Google Maps open. So just in case I need to find my way back to the hotel. But right now I'm on a mission just to find something to eat. And I think I'm going to go for something um, more familiar, you know, something that I know. So I'm going to see if I can find something in that line. But at the moment I'm just walking guys, I'm just finding my way, looking around. I'm so fascinated with these markets and souks. Let's go down this way. It's so intricate and so narrow. So cool man. I think I'm going to have one of these. I'm going to have a shawarma. How much? Just like this amount? Yes. Okay, I'm having a shawarma. Spicy please. Yes. Yeah, that's the chili sauce. Ooh. Get in there. Some mozzarella. Mm. <laughs> what is that? Yes, please. Yes. Chips. Alright. Okay, I'm not sure if you can see the prices there, but I took the shawarma. It's five dinner. Thank you so much. Right. Ooh, look at all those goodness inside there, man. Spicy. So it's lamb. It is chips, fries. It is the uh, pita bread. And a whole lot of spiciness. All sorts of goodness inside here, guys. Wow. <coughs> I mean, just wow. It is exactly what I expected and more. I'm going to give you a little tour of the hotel that I'm staying at. It's nothing fancy guys, I took something really cheap. I think I'm paying like 70 dinars a night. Let's see how much is that in Rand. I'll work it out for you. I'll give you the price. It's really tricky getting to this hotel. In fact, the uh, the bolt driver dropped me on the main road and I had to walk all this way in because they can't drive down these roads, it's very narrow and I think that they're not allowed in here, cabs and taxis and bolt are not allowed in here so that's where it's at, this is me, Let's see if I can, well, 